Oh no, I can't make one. I oh signal boosters right here. Oh god. It's d it's farther down the tree than I thought. I thought it was higher up on the tree. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our permadeath playthrough. We we're trying to get our max inventory done. And so I had someone actually let me know that if you pin the recipe for a signal booster, it might give us one. So let's actually try that real fast. So you go to your catalog and get your crafted products and it'll show you all this stuff. I don't think we have a, okay, maybe it's a constructed technology. Okay, there you go, maybe that's it. We have a signal booster right here. So maybe it'll let us do it. We're gonna select it real fast. One salvage data module, blueprint research cost. Oh, so it won't even let you do it. Okay, so nope, you won't, you cannot do it. It won't let me select it as a blueprint because I haven't learned it yet. We know we need one metal plating and carbon nanotube and then sodium, but it won't let me do it because I need salvage data and I need to unlock it that way. So, oh well. Let's keep going. We are looking for uh, drop pods because the drop pods will let us get our inventory maxed out. We're also looking for survival Bob, wherever he may be. And I'm, you know, I have my multiplayer. Let me make sure I have my multiplayer turned on. Uh, network. Oh no, it's disabled. And we're not gonna show our ship marker to anyone yet, but we're enabled and we have PVP with anybody. So if I run into survival Bob, Oh, it is on. It is on. Let's make sure, you know, yeah, we're, we're looking around. I don't see any drop pods. That's okay. And the other rule about this is we cannot leave this planet until we've maxed out our inventory or if we run out of uh, drop pods, which I've been told there's way, way, there's a ton of drop pods on a single planet. So we should be golden. The problem is, you know, you got to find them. That's okay. We'll find a whole bunch of them. I might need to go into a different area because yeah, we're just like looking slowly on the ground and it's doing some scans for an uh, unidentified building. I might actually get a little desperate. If I go to someone's base and they have a blueprint uh, construction module, it lets you uh, trade for blueprints. I might actually do that. I'm gonna need some uh, buried technology in order to do that. And that's hard to get when you don't have a tear. A uh, terrain manipulator like I don't have You don't get your terrain manipulator until later on in the game and we are not that far Because uh, we haven't done any of that uh, the tutorial we literally didn't even get to our uh, our ship our own ship yet We had to find one Is that a oh no, no, that's just a uh, broken module. Okay broken module. That's fine. Keep looking, keep looking. Man. Oh, wait. What's over here? Oh, there's a couple things over here. Okay. Have we been here? Does not look like it. Oh, come on. Dang it. Hey, well, you know what? It's not a uh, drop pod, so I'm not too, too, too worried about it. It was a transmission tower, but we already have a, uh, a uh, distress beacon, you know, marked. Oh, look at that. There we go. Boom. Now we gotta land, there we go. So the other thing is, once you have a, a particular thing marked, you can't mark another one, which is kind of weird. So like, we have a distress beacon marked over there. A crashed freighter. If we get another, oh, we might actually be able to get another distress beacon and mark the, uh, the, uh, a, a crash ship maybe. Let's get this real fast. And I believe I have all my stuff. Uh, the new recipe for uh, drop pods is you don't need any more antimatter. You need uh, antimatter housing. So I think I have one of those. Yep, I got one of those. So, oh, but I need to make some carbon nanotubes. I could do that. I could totally do it. Yeah, see, I have my antimatter all stacked up, but I can't make it. Oh, what? Oh, I need more carbon. Wow. Man, I need to get some carbon going here. I need to make some money. I need to do a lot of stuff going on here. So it's okay. We might actually start doing some stuff on foot because. I need to do some searching for materials anyway. So now, we, oh yeah, now we can make one. Just real fast. 
Man, I, what would I give to get a personal refiner? We have a... Oh, we have enough room for... Do we have any more? Oh, we do have one over here. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to get my technology done. We should do our cargo. But I'm trying to get my technology done real fast. That way I can move a whole bunch of stuff over. So now we can move over our... Our toxic protection right over there. So now we have extra room in here. We still have our all our life support in there, though. That's all right. We'll get some more, so that's okay. Um, yeah, we should probably go on foot. I need to get some materials anyway. Um, let's see if I can get some buried technology module. Now, you gotta be careful because if it's on a hill, it might show up. Come on. Are you outside of the ground? No, of course not. Man, what I would give to get a freaking terrain manipulator just to dig a hole. Ancient ruin, ancient ruin, off the planet, off the planet, buried cache. Knowledge stone. Let's just keep going, get away from that guy. We don't want to get taken out by the sentinels. But we do have life support, so we could do that. Let's get some... Refill our mining beam and our... Protection and life support. Yep, there you go. Now, there should be some hills going on around here. Yep. I'm just looking for some hills because they will let me get some buried technology, hopefully, that is sticking out. I don't see any, though. Uh, man, it's going to get kind of kind of hard, kind of rough. Do I have any already? I do not. I just have my navigational data, which I could use a signal booster and just mark the nearest location. I don't have any drop pod data, but that's okay. That's all right. We're going to find Bob. Hopefully Bob can pop up around here. I don't see anybody else. Like, nobody's playing right now. Maybe the servers are just acting up. I know ever since the expeditions update, the servers have been kind of bad, like on and off. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I've been kind of hesitant to play with multiplayer turned on because it kind of crashes the game because of the Expeditions update. Um, let's see over here. Maybe, oh man, that was a terrible boost. Oh yeah, and by the way, the latest update, you guys, took away the punch. You see how if you hold the button, you should keep punching. Oh, you can. Oh, they fixed it in the air though. Okay, so that's what they did. Got it. So... You cannot do your super uh, jump anymore. Your super boost. You know, if you hold down the melee attack and tap your your jetpack, how you used to be able to boost for, like, super speed, cannot do that anymore. They fixed it. So, you could do a whole bunch of punches on the ground. Like that. But if you're in the air, it will not do it anymore. Dang it. Yeah, they fixed it. Just Man, they were pretty quick about fixing that, too. Because usually it's there for a while. What is all this stuff down here? Oh, it just looked weird from the outside. Okay, just blue grass. Gotcha. It looked weird from a distance. Nothing, nothing. Looking for buried technology on a hill. That looks good. That looks promising. Just trying to get some buried technology. Any kind. And, you know, it's not always a guarantee, but sometimes. You definitely want to look for a hill. Or a mountain or whatever, you know, anything with the uh, vertical edge on it, because that's more than likely going to have it sticking out at that point. I don't think I've ever run across a flat surface, like you have a big flat field. I've never run across one like that where uh, they just was sticking out, like a buried technology module was sticking out like that. But, you know what? It could happen, I'm guessing. Man, that one's in the ground too. Dang it. That's all right. We'll run into one eventually. Over here. And I usually could... You could usually see them from a distance. Like, sticking out. That one's in the ground, too. Man! Sean Murray, you guys must have really busted your butt trying to fix all this stuff, dang it. Maybe Sean Murray's watching... The uh, series. If you are, Sean, let me know. Just give me like a, a winky face down in the comments. Pretty sure he's watching. And he's like, oh, 
Well, we gotta make this difficult for Jason. That way, he can't really cheese it too much. Because, yeah, all of a sudden now, all these buried technology modules are really buried. No joke. Okay, so they're, I'm trying to rack my brain. How would I get a terrain manipulator without, like, going to the space anomaly? Because I can't leave the planet. And I need to learn that recipe. And you can learn it with nanites. Like, you can actually go learn it at the space anomaly, but I can't leave the planet. Can I call the space anomaly here? I doubt it. I can't even do it. Yeah, if you're on foot, I don't think you can. So you can't call in the space anomaly. Can't get to the space anomaly. Maybe somebody will teach me the blueprint? Oh, I don't know if they will or not. Simply because it's a blueprint you learn from a, uh, a base computer and it's part of the tutorial. So why would they teach it to you if you were going to learn it anyway? Could be. I don't know. But I highly doubt it. Uh, buried technology? I see one over there. Is there anyone over here? No, 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 no. So what have you guys thought about the Expedition's update? Are you guys a really big fan of it? Or are you kind of down on it? I'm a really big fan. I actually really love it. It's I love the idea of it, too, because you have a whole bunch of different milestones. And... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they gave us like 25 milestones for this expedition. The expedition season one or whatever you want to call it, the pioneer expedition. They gave us 25, you know, milestones to complete. They have a hundred, over a hundred patches, meaning there's a hundred different milestones you can do. And so that gives me really, you know, a, a whole bunch of hope for another expedition being just hard. like. You know, maybe they can make a hard mode, like a permadeath mode expedition. That would be pretty awesome, because right now, if you go into the expedition mode, like you start a brand new game, you go into the expedition mode, it throws you into a normal gameplay mode. So, if you die, you respawn. It doesn't kill your save. If you, uh, if you die, you can go back to your uh, grave and pick up all your items. And you can carry a, a lot of uh, materials in your inventory. I would love to see one of these expeditions set in permadeath mode. And you know what? Because it's per in permadeath mode, maybe they give us more rewards. But I can see it being whole. It would be just like where, you know, me and Bob are doing our, our permadeath playthrough right now. Our permadeath series. He's doing his pirate Bob, and I'm doing my max inventory. Maybe. They can do it like that, just a, a short little mode, an expedition. And maybe, you know, you, you can balance it out by saying, look, it's in permadeath mode, but the milestones aren't that hard. Like, I wouldn't want to do the um, biological horrors, the whispering eggs. I don't want to do that on permadeath mode, so maybe don't do that milestone. Look at here. We got one, yeah. So don't do that milestone on permadeath, but you have a whole bunch of other ones, like finding... A whole bunch of uh, undiscovered systems, you know, scanning animals, learning words. You could do all that kind of stuff and just put it at a high number. Like instead of, I, I think the words on the, the expeditions we have right now, you have to find 50 words. You have to learn 50. Make it 100, you know, that way it's a little bit longer, a little bit. I, I mean, maybe 100 is too much. I don't know. But yeah, like the, uh, the waypoints that they have the milestone for the expeditions update. That waypoint was insanely hard. 60 of them? That was one of the last ones I got. And so I definitely think that one's a little too excessive. But you never know. I mean, maybe... Maybe that was actually good because it stretched out the uh, the game a little bit more because you had to do it. I mean, if I was doing it the entire time, I probably would have gotten it, you know, naturally. But it ended up being I wasn't looking for the save beacons. And so I was ignoring them. And so that ended up being my last milestone, basically. I had to just run around for a half an hour and just collect those save beacons. If I was doing it naturally, I probably could have done a lot sooner. A lot sooner. I'm not seeing anything else. Come on. Let's keep going this way. Uh, you know what? I, I'm doing what I always do. I'm jacking myself up. So we're heading south. Let's go south. Just because I want to make sure I'm heading in the same direction and not going in circles. 
Well, we have a buried, uh, oh yeah, buried mineral right here. We can't get to it though. We don't have a uh, terrain manipulator. Seriously, I'm not running into anything. All right, you know what? We're gonna call in our ship. We got two salvage data, so we could technically unlock the uh, signal booster. Come on, there we go. Oh yeah, let's do this with the launch fuel. How am I not getting radiation? I mean, how am I not getting uh, uranium? What in the world? I need to buy some uranium, guys. How did that happen? Oh, look, I was right next to a building, you guys. What in the world? That's yeah, not what I really care about, though. I was hoping maybe for a uh, a drop pod or maybe a... Let's see what's down there. Oh, that's a mineral. Okay, or a, a deposit. Yeah, I was hoping for a drop pod or maybe a... Uh, a minor settlement or something. That's okay. We'll run into more. We're doing pretty good. We almost have our technology maxed out. Let's actually pause for a second. Oh, ex exosuit. Exosuit. Yeah, so we only need four, five, six more in our technology and we're done. That's actually pretty good. Definitely need to get some upgrades. That way, when I find Bob, I can take him out real fast. Nothing. Oh, wait. What are you? Oh, this looks like an abandoned building. Yep, that is an abandoned building. We're not going to mess around with that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is an observatory. We're not messing with that one. With something above it. This is a secured facility. We could probably get this one. All right, so let's get the f secured facility going. First person, that way I can see what I'm doing. That way we can learn some recipes. All right, done and done. Land, perfect. Get my uh, nav data real fast show you guys what day I'm recording this on so you can judge me. Oh! No, 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 no. We don't need that. That's how I got killed last time. Get out of there. Oh! I do not want to deal with that. Really? Okay. Sentinel! Or uh, standing with the Corvax increased. Okay, I'll take it. Operations are offline. A recent research scan has been corrupted, likely by my unexpected interruption. It is crashing every system in the outpost. Something with data. Terminal scrolls through a list of potentially corrupt files. I appear to have deletion rights. Oh, God. Delete planetary quadrupled scan? Um, yes. Let's do that one. I deleted a number of files related to the quadru quadruped. Quadruped? Oh my god, I can't say anything. But the system remains offline. No! I messed that one up. Yeah, it's okay. We're not going to get them all, you guys. And like Bob, Survival Bob is not going to reload and do it again. So I will not reload and do it again. I will just keep going. Continue on. We're going to be heading south. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, come on. You know you want to give me a good thing. What is this? That yeah, looks like a uh, abandoned building. Okay, we're good. I don't want to deal with the uh, biological horrors. I'm afraid of that. I don't have very good shields. Once I start getting a lot of upgrades, then I'll go, you know, headlong into that. But not right now. Oh, there's one over here. Can I make a... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. This is a uh, abandoned building? Yes, there's a lot of abandoned buildings right here. Jeez, they're all like clustered together. What in the world is going on? All these buildings are abandoned. Do I have another, um, oh, I don't. I don't have the recipe for a, uh... oh God, I need to buy more. Well, thankfully I, I realized that before I landed there, all right, so I need to buy more uh, antimatter housings because you need that in order to uh, open these 
drop pods. Let's see. Well, we're going to be looking for a planetary archive or a uh, minor settlement, one of the two. That way I can buy some more antimatter housings. What are you? Oh, just a couple of buildings. Nothing important. Oh, no. This is a transmission. Okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. It may be? No, no, no. Not a transmission tower. Okay. Woo! Sorry, guys. I had to look at the building for a second and figure it out in my brain what it was. Um... Nothing. There has to be some more stuff out here, right? Come on. Give me a planetary archive. What was that? Did you see that over there? It was like a slow motion comet hitting the ground or meteor hitting the ground. And see, I always get the, uh, the, the naming convention of rocks in space all confused. Because you have meteor, uh, comet, and then you have an asteroid. I'm assuming an asteroid. Oh, look it! There's a, uh, a, a ruin right here, but I can't dig down in there, so there's no reason for me to land here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure an asteroid is in space, a comet is in the air going through the atmosphere, and a meteor is when it hits the ground, I think. Oh, that is a uh, minor settlement. Thank God we got to put. We, we thank God we got one before I hit another. Um, what's it called? Another uh, drop pod. Woo! I could buy some. I have money, right? Oh yeah, I got a million. I'm good. Let's buy some stuff from him. Let me see. Oh yeah, let me see. What do you got for your multi-tool? Maybe they'll give me a terrain manipulator. Uh oh, we got an optical drill. That's actually really good. That's a really good tool, actually. So, oh, I might get that one because an optical drill, but I can't expand it, really. Eh. What do I got currently? I have a, oh, I have an S-Class Analysis Visor. That gives me more money. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I like mine, but it doesn't have an optical drill. Huh. Um, uh, maybe not. Yeah, nah, nah. We're not gonna. We're not gonna take this one yet. I don't want to spend the money just in case I need it for something else. Let's see. You want to give me some technology, man? Their data pad, their silicon fingers, flick through images of this planet's plants and creatures. My own image is added to this catalog. Unknown. Whoa! We learned a lot of words. Look at that. Unknown life form, fascinating. The Corvex conversion, something. All life form data, life form something, something. Wow, we only had three words we didn't know in there. Oh, dude. Their interest seems to fade and their facial lights dim. They begin to study the hologram of a mutated creature, distorted and strange. Um, yeah, I'm gonna share my creature scan data with him. Life form cheaters happily and rewards me. He gave me a photon cannon module. That'll be good for my my ship that I don't need a photon cannon for. I mean, great, sure. Yeah, no, purchasing components. I need my antimatter housing. I need four. Yeah, I'll take four of them. That gives me four of them. And we could sell our antimatter at this point because we can't use it for anything else. Sell that so we got some money back. We're good. We're going to keep that salvage data for now because we're going to need that in order to, uh, well, we can sell our gamma root for 400 bucks. Okay. But yeah, we need to have our, uh, our salvage data just in case we want to unlock the, uh, the, uh, signal booster. Wow. I just lost my brain there for a second. Forgot what we were doing. So we should be, yep, we're good. Let's put this photon cannon on somewhere. It doesn't really matter because I don't know why they gave it to us. Upgrade stuff, got it. Let's put it over here. Do we have enough of this? Oh, no, we don't. Yes. Okay, we have we have some pretty good room, actually. And now we have antimatter housing. Woo, so now we can totally unlock the, uh, I mean, not that we couldn't before. There is a way to cheat the system and unlock, uh, and unlock a, a drop pod, you know, I mean, I haven't tested it since the update, so technically I don't know. 
pretty sure it's still there. It's a weird animation glitch, but possibly they fixed it. Let's see what's going on here. This looks like just a... Yep, there's nothing here. No drop pod, so we're good on that one. Oh, wait, wait, we're going south, right? Yep, we're heading south. So that's how we know we're going in the right direction. Oop, uh, that way. All these communication stations. I wonder if you guys are marking stuff. There's my, uh, my ship, my decoded coordinates. <laughs> pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure that's where my drop ship is. Um, yeah. Leave the planet. Sorry, can't leave the planet yet. I have to get all my, uh, my exosuit upgrades, or my, my inventory at least. What is this? Is this an abandoned building? It looks like it. It is. No, it's not. What is this? Oh, this is a secure facility. Let's see what that door is. We might be able to get in here and actually get this one done. It's always against the hill, isn't it? Um, yep, there's the door right there. So we need to switch over to first. Now I can see where we're going and slowly turn around and let's attack that door right there. Oh, man, we were attacking some Sentinels, too. Oh, God. Did we take out a Sentinel? I think we took out two Sentinels. Whoa! And then the landing pad is on the opposite side of the door. So we need to land here and then get out and go. Right immediately to the door. Go, go, go! Searching for me. They took out their brothers. Look at that! I took them out! Get that real fast. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Maybe I took out one of the quads. That would be pretty good, right? All right, done. I did take out one of the quads. So I did get, I got a quad servo. That's good. We're going to keep that. We're going to put that in our, uh, oh yeah, we're out of range. Okay, I got it. We'll put that in there later. So let's see if we can solve this operation center. Uh, my intrusion has led to the work underway on the primary terminal being scrambled. It's a jumble of words. Something, something technological. Using what's visible, I can reboot the Overseer's workflow and get systems online. Um, technological means satellites, right? So let's do that. The Electronic Overseer's workflow is restored! Yeah, the system comes back online. And I was given a cadmium drive. Why would you give me a cadmium drive? I mean, I like it, but I don't need to know that. Give me a terrain manipulator, please. <laughs> a terrain manipulator or signal booster. One of the two. I would have loved to get that recipe. Dang it. That's all right. Well, we have a quad servo. That's pretty good. Useful for later on. Up oh, since we landed, let's get our save beacon real fast. We got it. We're good. Now let's head where south at. Up this direction, and there is a unknown building right here. You're gonna be a drop pod? Come on, you know you want to be a drop pod. It is not a maybe. Oh no, it's a resource depot. We can actually just shoot this and get all the the resources from it without even landing. There we go. So woo, we just made some money off of that. Um, come on. Keep heading south, so we gotta turn over here. Head towards all of the... Oh, we have an antimatter settlement. Yeah, I can't believe it. They, they changed it with the update, the expedition's update. So now we don't need an antimatter settlement. We need an antimatter housing settlement. But you make that out of ferrite dust and stuff, so... It's not that I don't... I can't make an antimatter, uh, uh, container. I just... Don't know the I don't know the blueprint for it, so that's what makes it hard to do. What is this? Not marked, and it is a normal building. Okay, or normal couple of buildings. So we're good on that. No, we just had what? Well, how many? I think we've only had one drop pot so far this this uh, episode. Hopefully, we start getting more. Dang it, because we're going pretty good. We're flying. But yeah, we just have to pick a direction, go that right way, and see if we can get something. What's this? Why aren't you marked? 
That is an abandoned building. You can tell from the little nest on the outside. You see how you can see the nests and the shape of the building itself. That sometimes will throw you off because some buildings are shaped the same, but you know, you have a secured facility and a manufacturing facility and then a abandoned building. They might look similar, so you gotta be very careful. Like this one is just two buildings together. You would usually see another building, so that's nothing to stop for. There's no drop pot around there. What about this one? Okay, all of a sudden now we're running into a lot of buildings. Whoa! Civilization's right here. And... I don't see anything here. This looks like just a save beacon with a uh, broken module on the outside. Yeah, that's it. So no drop pot on that one. I'm also nervous that they're not going to be marking the drop pod for me. So if I don't see it, it's not going to mark it for me. And you know you want to mark it for me. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's another one. This is a transmission tower. You can tell from the tower on top of the building. That is a transmission tower. So let's see if we can mark a another uh, crashed ship. So let's see. It will. It might mark a uh, a crashed freighter, but we already have one of those marked. So the only thing left that, you know, the only thing it could mark could be a uh, crashed ship, a uh, dress, distress signal. Let's see what you got. Below the sequence of numbers repeats itself endlessly. It's clearly a distress signal. All right, so let's see. 17 plus 17 is 34, minus one is 33. 33 and 33 is 66, minus one is 65. So it's double minus one. So 129 plus 129 is 200 and uh, it would be 60 minus 2 is 58. So it would be 257. Top answer. There you go. Distress signal coordinates activate. Yes. And distress signal detected. Hopefully it's not the same one we found earlier. We're going to find out though. Come on. A new one. Give me a cool fighter. I'll take a fighter. I mean, not, actually not really because I need a... Uh, an explorer in order to uh, use less fuel. Oh, let's actually talk to him. Maybe he'll give us a blueprint. Come on, blueprint. They offer a friendly greeting, then pose a question. Traveler, the Corvax Convergence. Oh God, something, the Convergence, please help. Lifeform makes a scan of my head, displays the results on their data pad. They point excitedly at my brain, then look at me expectantly. Oh God. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Do some brain surgery on me. Uh, don't kill me, though. I lower my visor. A sharp metal needle emerges from the palm of their light. Oh, it moves so fast and in and out of my forehead before I can blink. The procedure was surprisingly painless. The entity thanks me for my donation and hands me an upgrade module in compensation for my lost brain tissue. Radiation protection module. How many of those do I have? I have... I already have two... What in the world? I already have two of them. So let's see. Eh? This would be three. So I have a... This is a B. What else do I have? I have a, a B and an S. Okay, so I have two Bs and an S. I could get rid of this one. And it'll give me 50 uranium and one wiring loom. Okay, that's a good trade-off. Yes. And we could put that in our... Uh, oh, wait. That's not the door. That's not the door either. So we can put the uranium in our uh, ship because uranium actually refuels your ship. Let me... Nitrogen. Nothing's going to give us uranium? Come on. Oh, that will. Okay, so these rocks will give you uranium. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we'll get a little bit of ferrite dust and some... Or we'll get a lot of ferrite dust and a little bit of uranium. That's the way to say that, really. All right, no, 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 no. Don't look over here. We're good. I'm out of here. All right, so we have a new distress beacon, and it is the one we've already been to. You can tell because that's where uh, all the uh, stuff is. Oh, come on. Why do they keep marking the same one? Driving me crazy. Oh, there it is right here. Maybe we can buy some more um, antimatter, uh, what's it called? Housings. And we can sell some of this stuff and make some money. Wow. The hero. Oh, we can actually refine that. We need to refine that real fast. So, 
Oh, we need metal plating. We could do totally do that real fast. We need to put the... Uh, oh, We need to fuel it, and we need to put this stuff in there. Oh, man, this is going to take up a lot of room. Let's see if we can hold it all. Oh, man. You get more money this way, but it's a little bit more time-consuming as well. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I forgot. Man, permadeath is no joke. They don't let you hold anything. Uh, let's put some more in there. Wow. All right, we're going to have to come back. <laughs> we're going to have to come back and refine other stuff as well. Holy cow. Oh, no. Oh, I unplugged my controller. Give me a second. Sorry, unplugged the controller. Oh, no. Now it's not even... There it goes. Okay. Totally jacked myself up here. And one more should do it, right? All right. Now we have to come back and refine the rest of it when I have room after I sell some stuff. So I need to sell a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. My wiring loom. I can move that out of the way. Actually, you know what? Since we're here, let's do that real fast. Wiring loom in here. Uranium. It's no more room. Now, the enriched carbon, we can actually just do that because we can sell that right off the bat. This we can put over here. That way we have room. Oh, man. I should have organized before. So we're actually doing pretty well. I can get rid of this sodium. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need five sodium. We can get rid of that. Get rid of the bullets real fast. And let's actually boom, boom. So let's see how much money we can get. We got to go back out there and do it again. Give me those nanites. Here, let me sell some stuff to you, buddy. Uh, components and sell. We can sell our quad servo. Nah, we're going to keep that for now. Let's uh, do... Where's my silver at? Uh, silver, 100,000 for 1,000 of that. Enriched carbon, four, yeah. And then let's buy his antimatter housing. Do you have it? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Buy the antimatter housing. And I think we're good on everything else. Okay, good. So this is all, all good, all set, ready to go. So now let's see. We can put our uranium over there because we're going to need that for later. Take the sulfurine, the uh, silver, lemium, pugnium. I think this is all set. Oh, yeah, we could actually. Dude, what are we doing here? We could totally do this instead. That way we have way more room. Yeah, look at that. All right. So now we need to get some more silver out of here. Give me up, starship. I know. I know. Gold. Wow, okay. So this would be total if I had three. They're 25,000 each. So it would have been 100,000 for that full stack. So we just took out 25,000, but it gives us 88,000 for this stack. Oh yeah, totally worth it to refine this stuff, you guys. I mean, it's way better in normal mode because you can stack them really high. So that's why you would want to do that. But hey, you know what? In permadeath, we're okay. Now the other thing is, I don't know. Let's go sell this stuff real fast. I don't know if my uh, my starship is too far away because I don't have a uh, a teleporter, so I might need to actually go back out there and buy more, so or sell more, get some to sell it. Let's see, sulfurine, urine, two thousand, two thousand. That's it. Uh, silver. When well, we got another hundred thousand, gold. We made eighty thousand. Yeah. Now let's go to. Oh, we can't do our starship. Okay, so I didn't need to go back and forth. Gotcha. Silver and the gold. Yes, we're making some good money here. We're making some good money here. 
And we got all the antimatter housing we needed to. And I just need to pop that uh, Pugnium in here. We'll get some nanites. Not really, I mean, eh. Let's see. Pugnium, I'm gonna get three nanites. Totally worth it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, then we have to put the Pugnium back. So now we can get rid of that four Pugnium. Nah. All right, so let's talk to this guy in here. Let's see what he has going on. Hey, you gonna give me a cool blueprint? Um, they seem to be processing a signal that emanates from a distant location deep in space, attempting to crack the code. Uh, say 16. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Offer additional microchips. Okay, I need to come back to him. I can buy a microchip, so let's do that real fast. Um, or microprocessor. Shh, excuse me. A microprocessor. Hey, hey, I got a microprocessor for you now. Oh, stand back up. Come on. I know, but you're a robot. It's okay. You're not tired. All right, microprocessor. There we go. So we'll just do that. I hand a small collection of microprocessors to the entity hoping to be of assistance. They use this fresh silicon to boost their processing power. It appears to have worked, at least in part. They managed to decode some navigation data from the da signal. They share the coordinates with me. Oh, oh, I have a planetary chart for a distress beacon. I like that. Okay. Let's fire it off. Let's see if it marks anything. I doubt it will. Oh, an abandoned building. That's not going to help me at all. Thank you. So, yeah, it's not going to... Eh. Journey milestone complete. Oh, I earned two million units. I sold a lot, so I got a lot of units. Let's see if I could get a terrain manipulator, please. Nope. It does have a lot more room in it, though. It has a lot more room. Now, the only thing I can't think of is let's decline because it costs two million. Do I have another multi-tool? Let's check real fast. I can't remember. Oh, I do! Defiance of Lightning. What does that one have? Oh, yeah, I'm still trying to get all this stuff. Wow, I was not even upgrading any of this stuff. Wow, Defiance of Lightning. It did have more room, and it's a B-class. It has all this stuff on it. Actually, let's see. It's only worth 294,000. This one's worth 2 million. Let's exchange and let's see how much. Mm, yeah, let's see how much money. So it did take money out of there. Oh man, 381,000. I am not smart at all. <laughs> I thought that was going to end up differently. I did get a bolt caster though. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. The advanced mining beam. Oh, we could totally make that. We have that. We need a hermetic seal and a carbon nanotube. We can make that, right? I think we can make both of those things. Yep. And carbon nanotube. All right, so we can do that. That's easy enough. Done, done, done. We don't, we don't have any other upgrades, though. Hmm. So, yeah, we can make a pulse spitter. I need deuterium. I got to refine tritium and uh, dihydrogen for that. Can't make that. Waveform recycler. We need magnetized ferrite. We might be able to get some of that. Yeah, uh, it does have more room on it. So that, that, that makes me okay. Okay, I can deal with that. Drop pod coordinate data. <laughs> I can get 67? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are they selling a whole bunch of drop pod coordinate data? How in the world? How in the world? All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to buy three of them. Let's sell some stuff. We're going to sell the quad servo. We're going to sell it just because I need some extra money. We're going to keep the nav data. We're oh, We need the salvage data. All right, we have that, that, that. Okay, drop pod data. So we're gonna keep that because now we're gonna go find a base that has a, a construction terminal with it. And because it has a construction terminal, we'll be able to unlock the uh, signal booster, I'm hoping. 
Let's see, where are we gonna go? Who has a good base that's close by? And you are Jason's Resource Depot. You know what? We're going to go to Jason's Resource Depot. We're going to go to the edge of the atmosphere. We're not leaving the planet, though. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're still within the clouds, so we're technically here. Come on. The higher you go, the faster you go, but you can't get too high because then we leave the atmosphere. We're still here. We're still here. Come on. Nope, nope. In the clouds, in the clouds. You can't force me to do it. No. So I know a lot of you are probably commenting right now that I left the atmosphere. I'm not. No, no, no. I have uh, I have the atmosphere above me. You can see that layer of uh, like clouds a little bit. That's the atmosphere layer. I'm still technically within the atmosphere. I'm just really high up. That's okay. I didn't I didn't leave the atmosphere. I didn't go into space and shoot any uh, asteroids or meteors or whatever you want to call it. Whoa, what is going on here? Is this two different bases? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two different bases here? We have Jason's Resource Depot and Jason's... Re okay, so they're two the same? Oh, maybe the same person built two base computers close to each other? I got you. I got you. I like this a lot. I'm looking for a construction research unit right here. All right, let's see what we could do. Buildable technology. Um, this is all for my advanced stuff. Wooden melted man. Oh. oh no, I can't make one. I oh signal boosters right here. Oh god, it's da it's farther down the tree than I thought. I thought it was higher up on the tree. So I have to unlock these in order to get my signal booster, which is way down here. No. Awesome. Great. I don't need that. I don't need that. We're not leaving the planet here. Come on. Let's see what we need. One more here, and then this is going to need another one. Yeah, one salvage data. So I need two more salvage data. Oh, we could probably get that. Come on. Somewhere around here. The other thing is I cannot, build, I cannot dig down and get it. I have to find it. Oh, man. Hopefully this one's hanging out. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe not. What is this? Oh, we got a... That one's not hanging out for sure. Oh, God! Oh! Oh, scared me. Jeez. Oh, man, that scared me. I forgot about my whole uh, jetpack thruster not having enough... Oh, we're mining resources here. Okay. Um, let's see. Buried technology module. You're going to be hanging out of the ground, right? And no, you're not. Dang it. Well, I need two more now, man. Well, that is probably where we're going to have to leave it. Oh, I probably can't even get back to my starter, sh my ship. So I'm going to have to call it in. I can't get back up there. All right, so we're going to have to call it there. I'm going to get my signal booster. Dang it. I thought it was closer to the top of the tree, but it was not. So hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. Not as frequently as before. I got a whole bunch of, you know, housing stuff going on. But I will be uploading videos. So I'll see you guys next time.